Oh my god. You can see the whole city from here. Dude, this is crazy. Tree. Look how much higher we have to go. Bro, this is never gonna end. I'm not gonna lie, I thought we were already at the top. <laughs> we're going up. Now we're heading to the top. At one point, this is the tallest I building in the world. Should I jump right now? No. Dude, I'll move. Come on, boys, follow me. From here on out, there's no more elevators, just stairs. Oh, it's windy up here. We are high up there. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Drink, don't drop the camera. We are standing over 900 feet in the air. The highest point civilians are allowed on the tower. But since it's ours for the night, I had one last surprise. What do you think's behind this door? Stairs. How'd you, did I, how'd you know? We can see the stairs. Well, yes, there are more stairs, but this takes us to the very top where no one's allowed to go. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Bro. Oh my God. Are we allowed on that? I don't know. Oh, that is scary. The ledge just comes up to my waist up here. I'm holding on for dear life. I completely understand why tourists are not allowed up here. We have a cameraman on the other side of the city with a lens zoomed in on. He's over a mile away. If this lens is good enough, you should be able to see us waving. For a $50,000 vacation, you gotta admit this is cool. This is amazing. It's a once in a lifetime it's experience. Really are you ready for the best moment yet? I don't know why a YouTuber has this much power, but... Lights! Oh, there we go. A disco show. Holy cow. Guys, I don't know if this is gonna work, but turn every light off. It's pitch black. The Eiffel Tower went dark. What are these millions of freaks doing right now? They should get me off this tower. I don't know why they gave me this much control. Next, we head to Switzerland for the $100,000 vacation. But this is no ordinary vacation. This hotel has two inch thick bulletproof windows, a panic button that will lock down the entire building and is riddled with security because this is a hotel where world leaders and presidents take their vacation. And also the side men were in town, so I decided to invite him as well. Whoa. Oh my God. It smells like food in here. We've got the whole ocean in there. What? This is nuts. This is the most expensive penthouse suite in all of Europe. It covers the whole eighth floor and has dozens of rooms, tons of staff waiting on you all day and night and absolutely crazy food everywhere. Wanna hit? Yeah, get it. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. How do these guys compare to your normal guests? Yeah. <laughs> so you'd say they're pretty dumb compared to <laughs> And like I said before, some of the most yeah, powerful thing, yeah. leaders choose this place for their vacation. I Even Bill Clinton stayed in there. here. And he wasn't assassinated. It's pretty safe. In terms of security <laughs> here, you have the bulletproof windows. Even this, this is bulletproof. Oh my, it feels thick. Oh, pretty solid. I hope. I'm a president. Yeah, also some snipers that we can put on the rooftop. You have your own snipers? <laughs> Are you able to negotiate on behalf of the sidemen? I can draw my back. Yes, uh, this will help me in my negotiation. I'd like to buy 10%. How much, boys? No, you, the guy you say. Yeah. 200 million, Jimmy. 200 million. All right, to the panic button. <laughs> Oh, no. I'm not gonna lie, I've been waiting to press this button since we got here. We all agree this is a good idea. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Carl, you're Bill Clinton yeah, and you're Bill Threat. Press the button. button. All right, he pressed it. Bit oh, wait, wait, I see a door closed. Wait, are we locked in? Is it locked? Are you guys in there? Is that Nolan? Yeah. And the door's like shut. I walked off for one second. Which button uh, opens it? You don't get to panic and then open it. <laughs> <laughs> if you can reach the button now, the police will come and there's a big fine. Don't press it again. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking, how would a president get somewhere like McDonald's? Let's see how presidents travel. Come on in. It turns out when you're the president, you have to go everywhere with your bodyguards. So that means when you drive. Oh, we got like a oh, oh, okay. How do we know which car to get into? On the third, on the fourth. Ideally the third or fourth, he said. Which car is the most dangerous? The first one. Nolan, you should ride in the first one. I can do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to ride with me? Harry, come on in. Harry Chandler. I'm sure the president doesn't sit in the middle. Typically, you guys would be my bodyguards, but, you know, you'll suffice. Just squeeze in, mate. Squeeze in. What president is going to McDonald's? Does your window roll down? Hey, how's it going? No, now I'm going to get shot. Oh, now I'm going to no. get shot. Oh, I can't believe we can do this. This is nice. Turns out when you travel in a presidential motorcade, a lot of people start to 
notice you. How's it going? <laughs> this is bonkers. Yeah, I'm the attention of everyone. People are filming like with the president. This is weird. Which made McDonald's a little awkward. Excuse <laughs> us. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind our security. Jimmy, does this beat out the Eiffel Tower for you? Depends how good these nuggets are. Obviously, all the vacations so far have been amazing, but they pale in comparison to this next one. Our final vacation is once again all the way across the planet. And now we're in Japan for the two hundred fifty thousand dollars. And we're meeting up with a special guest here, so you're gonna want to watch to the end. To start off our vacation, we dropped off our bags at the most expensive hotel in all of Japan. This is gigantic. I have an echo in a hotel room. And afterwards, we felt like getting to know the city of Tokyo. Now we're gonna drive Mario Karts on the street. <laughs> we rented private Mario Karts where we literally get to drive on the streets of Japan. People are just staring at us. This is not meant to be on a street. There's real cars driving right beside me. Well, look how many people are crossing the street here. This is the busiest crosswalk in the world and we're driving right through it. <laughs> we're on go-karts in Tokyo. Bro, I love Japan. This place is crazy. When we arrived at our next destination, we met with Master Swordman Yoshioki Somita. He's been training with the katana for the last 26 years, and he actually agreed to give us a rare lesson in the art of the samurai. We each got our own katanas, and the lessons began with swinging techniques. It was not as easy as we thought. So. No! No, they're gonna zoom in on it. Then it was my turn. Boys, you think I'm gonna be able to do this? Yes. Yeah, you got it. Hey! Let's see how the try. Who am I? And then our samurai teacher gifted us this insane katana. I don't deserve this, but thank you. And because this is a quarter million dollar vacation, we rented out the most premium sushi chef in the world, along with this entire floating restaurant. They got Louis Vuitton coasters. Oh the chef makes all the food right next to our table. And getting to see a master at work was one of the coolest dining experiences ever. Woo! Mm, wow. Oh my God. Oh. They said we could feed the birds tuna. Here you go, little man. See how we caught him in air? And once we paid the bill, thank you. <laughs> we were off to the craziest place I've ever seen. I, I, I rented this whole place. But before we see it, socks off. This is basically an art museum, but for experience. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. I have goosebumps. My eyes are having a hard time processing it. Do you think this is what it looks like when you die? Probably. What is this oh next row? Normally, this place is completely full of other people, but we secured the place entirely for ourselves. This might be one of the best things we've ever done. Dude, are these fish? We're in a pool in a museum playing with animated fish. This is the most unique thing you could ever do on a vacation. Wait, the fish are surrounding us. Look. How did they know to surround us? They love us. They're going everywhere now. Now you're all probably hungry, which is why we're at this restaurant that is ran by robots. What? Wait. My name is Pepper. Can we have a seat? Oh, yeah. Let's find a comfortable spot. We reserved the entire place, so the only other people here were the robot waiters. Food robots here. Wait, so the food is delivered on a robot? An oddly fluffy robot. Pepper's staring really hard at Chandler He's for some reason. Pepper does not like Chandler. Bro, I did nothing to you. Everyone, make sure you eat tons of food, because tomorrow I rented an entire theme park and PewDiePie is going to be there. Which is really crazy. You see, PewDiePie and I have a long history. Mr. Beast, I was wondering when you would show up. <laughs> we helped him in his subscriber race against T-Series. Grab your phone, go on YouTube, search PewDiePie, and subscribe to him. Eventually, we even caught up to him. Mr. Beast has taken over me in subscribers. I guess I'm getting a taste of my own medicine. That's all right. He definitely deserves it. And even though we've been friends for a while, we've never actually met in person and because this is such a long way never to meet know. i rented this entire amusement park this is fuji q highland the park with the scariest rides in all of japan it usually has thousands of people waiting in line but as per usual i rented the entire thing just for us you can ride whatever ride you want i wasn't done but he left I'm about to go on this entire roller coaster alone. What you're seeing here is the steepest roller coaster drop in the world. Are you scared? Yes! Have fun! Oh, 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 oh. Yes, yes. I'm scared. I'm scared for him. Woo! And like promised, the father of YouTube, PewDiePie, oh, met us in the park. 
a little later than planned because I texted him the wrong day. Sorry, Felix. And he wanted to ride the craziest coaster at the park. Why are you scared? I'm so scared of roller this coasters. One this one doesn't spin at all. I'll ride it if Felix rides it. I'm Let's go! I'm terrified. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. If I die on this roller coaster, you guys are going to feel terrible. You take your shoes off? Anything that could fly out. That's how you know it's bad. <laughs> they don't even trust us with shoes on this ride. Got this. You'll be fine. I did not. This was my worst nightmare. I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't want to do this. You're scaring me. Come down. <laughs> oh. Whatever you do, don't throw up. I'm terrified. Can we pick a better one? We could have picked a nice, comfortable ride. I actually have this no idea what it is. At some point, there is a literal night to be dropped. You're freaking me out. <laughs> what did you sign me up for? You brought me here. But what we didn't know was... Wait, no! This ride goes backwards. Why are we going backwards? <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh my god, we're upside down! <laughs> this is crazy! Best roller coaster ever! Oh my gosh, Felix, what did we just do? Yeah, I'm I'm Best roller coaster ever. Oh my god, tears just running down. <laughs> Let's get mini you, Jamie. I'm gonna head out. <sighs> yeah. We screamed at the first little bump. <laughs> <laughs> what? Thank you. I don't think I've ever <laughs> had a chewy potato before. <laughs> you said potato. You for passing me. What you <laughs> uh, Felix, I'm sorry for passing you. You don't have to threaten me with violence, though. They're good. Yeah, they are good. That was the $250,000 vacation. Felix, can you transition us? Bro face. Hmm, very good. I expect you to be here at all. Very good quality video right there.